So, I was trying to get back to the Pokemon Center because I figured that'd be a good place to start the video. And then this guy here apparently still wants to battle us. So, we're going to be doing that to start off the video. So, yay. Anyways, what's going on guys? You're in with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egglock Run. In the last episode, we took on the Rocket Hideout. We took on Giovanni. And now we're kind of amazing. So, in this episode, we're going to be going to Pokemon Tower. We're going to be taking on Rufus. We're going to be fighting Team Rocket again, and we're going to be taking on Erica. so kind of going to be a busy episode. I have no idea what I'm supposed to use for the thumbnail, considering normally I go with like whatever boss battle we're doing, if we're doing one, but considering we're going to have both Rufus and Erica, uh, most likely Erica. You know, unless the Pokemon Tower takes a while, then we probably will save Erica for next episode. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Or we might just make this like a super long episode, because we haven't had very long episodes of Leaf Green yet, but... I haven't actually really heard anybody complaining. Everyone seems to be enjoying... Oh, if you poison me. If you poison me. Oh, I know. Everybody seems to be enjoying uh, Leaf Green. How it is. You know, like 20 to 25 minute videos. A few have been over 25 minutes, but I think that's been like a good length for the videos. You know, it's not too long. It's not too incredibly short. It seems very balanced. So, I don't believe we will need to use an antidote. I believe we can get out of here with more than enough HP, so not even going to fret about that. And if Beto dies, well, my bad. But that's not going to happen, so we don't need to worry about that. Anyways, um... Oh, I, I, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so actually I remember what I, something I want to talk about. That there seems to be a lot of debate going on in the comments. Like, literally the last video, like, maybe... 5% of the comments had to do with the video and like 95% of the comments were people yelling at each other over the whole role-playing thing. You know, people have been making YouTube accounts for Doorbell to Feel. Uh, I saw apparently one for Coronis. The Bagon just popped up. You know, d pretty much like Doorbell, there's two moons. There's like Moon and Nidoking, King and there's a Moon and Nidoran. So, that's confusing. <laughs> um, uh, let's, we got some bikers here. I don't want to bother taking them on. Oh, okay, so I didn't take you on before. There's a bunch of role-playing accounts, and people have been, like, getting mad at these, at these like, accounts for being, like, annoying, I guess is the proper word to say with, like, spamming a lot of comments, and then they don't realize that when they're yelling at them, they're also spamming. I mean, one guy was, like, he complained about it, and he was like, okay, yeah, you could complain about it, but he didn't really stop there. He complained about their spamming, and then he proceeded to make, like, ten comments in, like, eight minutes, so... He's not really helping the cause when he's doing exactly what he's complaining about. Now, I'd like to make it clear. I think it's awesome that people actually take the time to make these accounts. You know, they get invested in the series to a point where they like want to go and make YouTube accounts dedicated to these Pokemon and Twitter accounts dedicated to these Pokemon just to have fun and add some kind of characters. I think that's really awesome. I think it's cool that people are doing that. But it also, at the same time, it gets really annoying, you know? When I'm just like trying to read the comments to get like feedback on the video and like every other comment is from one of these people just talking to each other with most of the stuff doesn't even have to do with the actual video. You're just having a nice little conversation. It gets annoying and I don't want to tell people to stop because that's, you know, that's like censoring my comment section and I don't want that to happen. I don't want to censor my comments. I want you guys to be able to do whatever you want, but just... <sighs> I kind of miss it where like 90% of the comments had to do with the video and like 10% were just random blabber between people because then I could actually, you know, find out what people like about the video, what they disliked about the video, if they just entertained in general. I liked being able to have some kind of idea of what I should or should not be doing and when it's literally just you guys talking to each other, it kind of makes it hard to know what's going on. And I just know some people are like, well, do I a lot of other commenters were yelling at each other, like, oh, you don't need to, even need to be worrying about the comment section because you just, you don't need to be worrying about it. And, oh, wait, we already took on Rufus, didn't we? Okay, never mind. We're not going to be taking him on this episode then. I forgot about that. Um, but, and they're like, well, you don't need to read the comment section anyways. And that's true. You guys don't need to be reading the comment section, but I like to read the comment section. I, it's like the entire point of a YouTuber is to interact with his subscribers in the comment section, you know, get feedback. And that's like the entire purpose of making videos. So, I think it's really awesome that you guys take the time to make these accounts and you'll have fun and add some personality to these characters. But, try to control yourself in the comments. I mean, if I, 
I don't know. I don't really know what to say because I don't know what I want you guys to do. It's really kind of like a, eh. Seems like this kind of a lose-lose situation here because it's A, either just let you guys run rampant over the comments or B, just silence you guys and then take away all the fun. So, there has to be some kind of medium here and I just, I don't know what it is. For the record, one, okay, one thing. If you guys are going to be using Twitter, I think that's awesome, but you don't have to include me in literally every tweet because then it's like impossible to find out. It's, it's just, it's becoming such a pain to like actually find the tweets that aren't from the people who are doing the role playing because like I would get like a string of 20 tweets all within like five minutes. None of which actually have anything to do with me. It's just you guys talking among each other and for some reason my name's included in it. So that, that part does get quite annoying. So if you guys are going to be tweeting amongst each other, you don't have to include my name in it because yeah. <laughs> Although what I think would be really cool, you know, um, someone had compared to what these role players, I, I'm just going to refer to them as role play. <gasps> Did I kill that ghastly? Or was that a trainer Pokemon? I don't remember. I don't remember if I faced a trainer or if that was a wild Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. God dang it. Um, I, I, I'm i assuming, okay, we just won't get a Pokemon in Pokemon Tower. That was my mistake. I wasn't paying attention. I completely forgot this is a new area, and oh well. Um, anyways, as I was going to say, uh, someone had compared like what these Let's Players are doing to the Nuzlocke comics, how you're taking these Pokemon who normally when they're in the game, they don't really have any personality or character or anything. They're just, you know, the Pokemon you use. And you guys are like making them unique, you're making them individuals, and you're adding like personality to them. And I'm like, it would be really cool if someone like actually took the time to like make a comic of this. I thought that would be really cool. I actually got fan art, someone, I think it was Moon, whoever's doing Moon the Nidoran, he actually like drew my team, um, and it looked really cool. And well, except that for some reason like everything looked really good, and then like the hair cross looked like really derpy, and just... I don't know why. Like, all the other Pokemon looked really cool, and then the Heracross is just there like, Hey, what's up? <laughs> so I, I wasn't really sure what was going on there. And I will put a link to the fan art in the description, because I thought it was really cool. Like, someone took the time, they got bored, and they drew something, like, for me. Like, what? why? Why? I don't, I don't deserve it. But that was really cool. And I'm like, well, that would be really awesome if someone, like, wrote a story or wrote, like, a comic about, like, a leaf green egg lock or something. To just make it more of an adventure with all these characters. That would be something cool for all these role players to do is like to get together and like collaborate on some kind of project with the characters that you guys have created. So instead of like having your little adventure in a comic section, you guys should just come together and collaborate and make something awesome together. And we've been talking about this for like six minutes now, so let's start focusing on something else because I don't want this entire video to just be like dedicated to these role players and their shenanigans. So let's move on to bigger and better things and that is absolutely nothing because I have nothing to talk about I did not think that through typically I usually don't have things to talk about I just kind of ramble about whatever's on my mind and right now it's one of those moments where there's like literally nothing on my mind so I'm just kind of getting to the point where I just kind of want to start shouting random words and seeing what happens so I want to think this is a rare candy but I don't think I'm right Oh, it is! I remembered correctly. Look at that poke of memories, guys. I knew that was a rare candy. I don't know how I knew it was a rare candy, but I knew it was a rare candy, so... Up here we will have the Marowak, and since that is a ground type, let's let... I want to think it's like level 30 ground type, too, so let's go with Beto, because I'm not feeling very... Okay, yep, yeah, oh, we got another Ghastly. That's cool. There's like a 5% chance you can get a, a Cubone in here, and... I want to think this is like one of the only places you could actually get Cubone. I don't remember like ever seeing them anywhere else in the game, but I might be wrong. I think you could get Marowaks in Victory Road actually, so you could probably get Cubones there as well. Cause, well, I was gonna say I had a Cubone in Fire Red Omega, but then I realized that was a hack, so they may not be there normally. But I don't know where you could actually get um, Marowaks and Cubones. If this is like the only place you could get them or not, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about that now. So, Jimmy has got plenty of levels. Oh, that's right. These are gonna be rocket grunts. So let's just stick with Jimmy for now. We will focus on Redwood later, and 
Okay, I know I didn't want to talk about those role players anymore, but uh, talking about Jimmy just kind of reminded me that within like 10 minutes of the video going up, someone made the Jimmy the Arcanine account, and I remember seeing a comment saying like, oh look, now any minute now someone's going to be making a Jimmy the Arcanine count, and like 5 minutes later, there was a Jimmy the Arcanine commenting on the video, so I thought that was funny, that the guy just like, he knew, it's been going on for so long, people just know what's going to be happening now, so <laughs> that should tell you something about about this it's people are expecting it to happen now but yeah so I don't I don't know I don't have anything interesting to tell you guys today and I apologize so I've been waiting for grinding to come along because I like I have a long, a long thing of stories now and it's like well pff, I really wish I needed to do some grinding I'll probably end up doing some grinding before Koga because I Assume I'm going to be very underprepared for Koga, especially considering I think his highest Pokemon is like his Weezing at level 42, so or it might be 41, and I think his Muck is like 39. So yeah, we're probably a little under level to say the least. Just assuming, considering most of oh I want to I want to I want to stay in so bad, but with all those smoke screens it's not a wise idea to stay in because it'll take us forever to hit something so let's just go with ice beam and the super drowsy little elephant look at that look at him take that ice beam like a man are we under leveled at this point in the game i'm not really sure if this is considered under leveled or if this is just like the average level for this point um i'm gonna probably say we are i don't know I don't know, it's hard to say if we're under leveled or not, because it's... I don't know, it's hard to determine what is the proper level you should be in this game. The fact that, like, really, none of my Pokemon have... For the most part, none of the Pokemon have died, besides the four Pokemon that did die. I would say this is probably around the level we should be at this point in the game. I mean, the enemy Pokemon are about the same level as we are, so it's not super easy, but it's not super difficult. It's just... It's like your basic challenge. So... Yeah, I'm going to say we're probably about the level we're supposed to be. This is like where the game wants us to be right now. So, because Erica is going to be level, her highest is her level 29 Vile Plume. So, we're not completely like over leveled or under leveled because we still have a chance. But we're not super over leveled either because I'm pretty sure like one time I took on Erica with like a Charizard and I just destroyed her. So, <laughs> that's probably considered over leveled because that's a level 36 Pokemon compared to a level 29 Vile Plume. So, give me your poke flute. Give me your flute, boy. I'll show you how to blow it. I'll blow your flute like a man. I'll blow your old flute like a man. Your old hairy wrinkle. Oh, God. Let's stop talking about this. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay. So, now we... Pokemon Tower did not take nearly as long as I thought it would. So, let's fly over to Erica. And, depending on how this goes, we do have to go get Minion to use Cut. Um... We have plenty of trainers. There's actually like nine trainers in here that we can take on. So that's exciting news. But I th think we're going to split up the XP between uh, Coro not Coronas. It's Nicastro and Jimmy. So we'll probably make sure they're about the same level. Sipper. Uh, I should give Sipper like Aerial Ace because... That's a really good coverage build for him. You know, that's what I have on my Heracross and my Storm Silver. Rock Tomb is really getting no use. I mean, Rock Tomb is really only useful against Fire, Flying, and Bug. And there's no way I'm having Sipper out against a Flying or a Fire type. And Bug, Aerial Ace would hit. And Aerial Ace would also hit Fighting types and, Norm and Grass types. So, yeah, you know what? I think we're going to put Aerial Ace onto um, Sipper. And I think that would be, like, the best thing we could do with Aerial What? 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 He doesn't learn Aerial Ace? Are you serious? Wow, that does he only get it in 4th gen? Cause, unless it's just because of Storm Silver being a hack, I would have swore he learned Aerial Ace. Okay, that's cool. So many Pokemon can learn Aerial Ace, and yet he can't, because... Why not? I get, I get the fact that it'd be like times 4 effective, but Gyarados can learn Thunder and Thunderbolt, so... Your argument is invalid. My apologies, but yeah. So let's start off with Nikestro. We probably should have switched, or we probably should have healed up, but YOLO. 
Oh god, did I just say yo -oh, Please kill me now. Take away my YouTube channel. I don't deserve to have it. I'm becoming one of them. I'm becoming one of those people who uses that word. And... Oh, did we really miss? Did we really just miss? Oh, I forgot. Okay, so someone... In one of the comments I was talking about how I've gotten smarter at Pokemon since like when I first played it. When I stopped playing when I was like 13, I knew nothing about Pokemon. I think I was 13. It was right after Diamond and Pearl came out is when I stopped playing. I kind of lost interest in Pokemon until like two months before I started my YouTube channel when I picked up the game again. And it was amazing. But anyways, uh, someone is pointing out how like I think I'm smarter when in reality I'm still like just as stupid. Which is probably true. I'm definitely not smart at Pokemon. I was just saying I would know a lot more now as far as it goes to types. And... I know, it took me a long time for some reason, I had like a lot of trouble learning what's strong against what, but I never had, I, I finally like know what's strong against what. I mean, steel is strong against ice, steel is strong against rock, and I think that's all steel is strong against, but I still have a lot of trouble with resistances. Like I didn't know rock resisted poison until she, he just used acid on Nekestro, and I'm like, oh. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, why does rock resist poison exactly? If anybody can answer that. I don't fully understand it, but whatevs, you know, who am I to question it? So, now that I finally like, learned all my weaknesses, I'm still having a lot of problems with the resistances, and then you get dual types, and it's like one cancels out the other, and it's just like this giant argument, and my brain doesn't cooperate the way I want it to, so I'm really just like, oh, I don't know what any of these things do, I just... Is this strong against that? And now they're going to introduce fairy type, and that's just going to completely ruin what was left in my mind. It's just not going to exist anymore. My brain will not be able to operate once fairy type is released, because I finally like trained myself to realize dragon type should never be in against ice, and dragon type should never be in against dragon. And now I'm going to have to start telling myself dragon type should never be in against Jigglypuff. Like, seriously? Jigglypuff's going to be... You got this big, mighty Dragonite, not afraid of anything. And then you just come along, and then you got this Jigglypuff, and it's like, Oh my god, no! That is Jigglypuff! And Jigglypuff's gonna be there like, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. And then Dragonite screwed, so... Yeah. Jigglypuff is now the arch enemy of every dragon that's ever existed. Not Wigglytuff, not Gardevoir, not Clefable. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, 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 Jigglypuff. Maybe I should stop saying Jigglypuff now. You stop saying Jigglypuff. Don't tell me what to do. I do whatever I want, Holmes. I'm, I, yeah, I'm a Jigglypuff. Dragonite, you better watch. Okay, let's let's stop talking about this now. Good job, Hardy. Annoy all your viewers viewers by constantly saying Jigglypuff forever. Oh, what do you know? I didn't think Bite would. I was like worried that Bite wouldn't kill it because I know Nicastro has. Wait, his special attack is almost double, or his physical attack is almost double his special attack. So, yeah. Um, are we ready to take on Erica, or should we take on these last two? Let's take her on now. Let's super potion up, because I don't have regular potions for some reason. So I'm gonna waste the super potion on 14 HP, because that's good parenting right there. And let's take on Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? <laughs> You're high. It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Yep, she's definitely on the weed. Erica, have you been to Viridian Forest? Have you been smoking them weedles? Have you been hanging around with them Paris too much? I, d I bet, I can like guarantee that if Pokemon were real life, Brock and Erica would be married. Because, you know, I mean, it's just, it's not possible. I mean, one is, loves rock type Pokemon. And if you know, if you get the hint, that means he's stone, stoner, he's stone. And the other type is going to use a hyper potion. The other type is always hanging around all these weeds and shrooms and grass. And if you know what I mean, kind of dresses like a hippie. So, I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Brock is obvious. Oh, come on. Dang it. No, why did I stay in? Oh, God. No, that was stupid. That was stupid. Okay, don't get paralyzed. You got paralyzed! Yay, I'm so happy right now! But yeah, so Brock and Erica, they're like the dream team in Pokemon. It is ridiculous how similar they are. They are like literally meant to be together. I want to see some fan art now. I want to see some Rule 34 of Brock and Erica. 
I'm putting this up to you guys. This is your job. Get me some Brock and Erica porn, okay? I don't care what you gotta do. You can send it to me on YouTube, send it to me on Skype, or Twitter, or Facebook, do whatever you want. I wanna see Brock's Jew, dude. I wanna see Brock's Onyx in Erica's victory bell. Go for it. Come on. You guys better be up for this challenge. I'm expecting big things from you guys. Let's do this. Let's show them what the Pokemon community... Let's show them what Team Caterpie can do, guys. Let's show them what we're made of. We are porn, and we're okay with that. A full heal. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay. Either way, we defeated Erica, and we also realized that uh, I, ac I secretly have a addiction to Pokeporn. So... Nobody needs to know about this. This is just going to be our little secret. And yeah, get, send me a link to that those pictures if you guys can find any. Thank you. I am really going to regret saying that. I am really, really going to regret that because now tomorrow morning I'm going to look in my inbox and I'm going to have like 50 messages from people like, here's your porn, Hardy. And no, I'm not giving you guys 50 cents each. So don't even try that on me, okay? I'm the only one allowed to deal porn here, alright? You guys have to give it to me for free because I'm that special, so deal with it. Anyways, next time we will begin our journey to Fuchsia City, and we will be catching some new Pokemon, taking on the infamous bikers right outside Celadon, and going into Safari Zone and catching a Pokemon there. So, well, until next time guys, thank you for watching, I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo. How about, let's put you guys up to a challenge, let's go... 268 likes yeah let's go do that i challenge you guys you either like the video or you send me porn your choice until then i'm hardy tickyo yo peace